So I see this question a lot. People are asking how you tell the difference between the male and the female flower from a zucchini or a squash plant. It's the same thing. So I'm going to show you this size and an even smaller one so you guys could spot right away which is the male and female. This is one of my zucchini plants. Remember, this works for squash and zucchini. So right here, you could kind of tell this one is about, you know, a little bit over three inches maybe. But you could tell like there's this is the fruit, the zucchini, with a flower at the end. And then if you guys look right here, you see the skinny stem right here? Look how skinny it is right here, right? And it does have a flower too. So this is the male. So you see this right here? That's the female. You guys see how it's still, sh it's thicker and it still shapes like a little baby fruit. So I came to one of my other plants. You could see the male. It's skinny stem with the flower already. The flower is going to be here in the next couple days. And then right here, look at this. A little baby skinny stem with the flower too. See that? Show you guys there. And that round right there, that's the female. That's the fruit. You can see this one right here. The fruit is much thicker and the male is much skinnier on the stem. Your hand pollen it. Um, always come in the morning when the flowers is open. Get a paintbrush, get the pollen from here and apply it into female. And that's how it's going to grow. This is a round zucchini and it's the same thing. See that? The male skinny stem with the flower. This one is already open and used. When it's done, you guys could remove this, cut this out, deep fry it. It's crispy and delicious. And you see my fruit right here? It's bigger now, and that's a male again right there. So don't forget, come in the morning time. The morning time is when the flowers open. Zucchini, squash, doesn't matter which variety you have, they will open one day and it open in the morning time. Come in the morning time, get a paintbrush and hand pollinate. If you don't know hand pollinate, I'm gonna leave the video at the end and learn to hand pollinate, especially if you don't have bees. And as, you know, if you don't, especially if you don't have bees in your garden, if you don't see any bees and you see your fruit is dying, you know, number one reason, it's normally because it didn't pollinate good, your fruit will fall out. If you're new, welcome to Green Tea Garden. We're all about growing a better home garden together. Please click the red subscribe button and follow by the bell icon every time I upload a video. You guys will get it right away and it's 100% free. And you guys have a great weekend.